New York was excellent. It was crazy. The atmosphere was wild. You know, Alicia Baumgarten, crazy, crazy display of power and combinations. Hart, you know, she toughed it out. I think she gassed out a couple times, but she stayed with the game plan. She didn't panic. Got the win. Got the knockdowns. It was pretty, uh, pretty exciting to watch her um, go and dispute it. You gotta remember, like I knew Alicia before she had any belts. And so for me to watch her from, you know, I think I met her when she was like maybe 4-0 or maybe 5-1 or something. So to watch her to come from that level, she couldn't get on a show to, to become undisputed and me be ringside. It was good. It was good to see her go through that whole process. It was pretty amazing, amazing to watch, for sure. Yeah, that's all. That could have even headlined the, uh, the event. For sure, without a doubt. Like, that was an easy headliner. Uh, that was easy. A fight to make a headliner. As far as Serrano, Amanda Serrano, that's good. As far as Amanda Serrano, Erica Cruz brought it. You know, she made sure she was first and she made sure she was last in every combination and every exchange. Shout out to Erica uh, Cruz because that I think Amanda fought Erica Cruz's fight. And to be honest with you, uh, if, um, if Serrano wasn't so tough, anyone else would have lost that fight. But Amanda's tough. Shout out to Jordan. Shout out to Amanda. Uh, it's great to see both of those girls come undisputed. You know, I know uh, Serrano. I watched Serrano before I was even, you know, uh, at this level as well. So it's great to see the girls come through. I saw her sister Cindy. I knew C Cindy for probably 10 years. So to, to watch them all come through. Jordan, I know he's her brother-in-law, but Jordan's a passionate guy. Yeah, I'm just happy for all of them. Alicia and her dad and her team and Amanda, her sister and her brother-in-law. Like, is good people. It was, uh, it's good. It's always good it's to watch good people win. And, you know, a lot of good things happen to good people. So that's just a pure example. Of stick with it. Consist. Just stay consistent, and eventually it'll be your turn. Yeah. And uh, props to the women, man. They're um, number ones are fighting number two. They're fighting each other undisputed, moving up, moving up and down in uh, weight classes, and they're doing their thing. No doubt about it. I, know, I saw a couple people post on Twitter like. Uh, you know, female boxing is hot right now. Listen, let me tell you something. I keep saying it, female boxing has been hot. It's just that you're just noticing now. I'm telling you, female boxing was hot five years ago. It's just that, you know, now that they're getting the, the big opportunities to co-main and main, you know, on, on these big shows, it's huge. And, and I'm telling you, these girls are, you know, they want to make a legacy for themselves. They want to make, you know, this into their full-time career, so. They're fighting for more than just just a belt. They're fighting for more than two belts, five belts, whatever. You know, they're fighting to be a part of history. They're fighting for, to be a part of a whole movement grow. And, and it's pretty awesome. Like I said, pretty awesome to see. Um, Shadeja Green won. That was a tough fight, to be honest with you. That was a 50-50 fight to me, but Shadeja Green was, that girl was a monster. So, uh, shout out to her. Shout out to Mike Leonardi and MVP, because I know they just signed her. So, shout out to those guys. Um, yeah, they're coming. They're comparing her to the uh, Ann Wolf, the new Ann Wolf. Could possibly, you know, I think if I if I had her, I would probably get her in a little better shape. But um, yeah, she looked fucking phenomenal, man. That girl's a beast. And who else? Uh, Hitchinson. I think I'm saying his name right. Right? Yeah, yeah. He's a uh, he's a monster. He got to go to the body more. That fight went way too long. You know, uh, the corner should let that fight go too long. But I think I would have stopped the three rounds earlier. Uh, but Hitchinson, if he would have went to the body earlier, third, fourth, fifth round, that fight would have went, went six rounds. So he's a young kid, he's coming up, so that was good to see. And the Puerto Rican kid, what was that his name, Perez? Or, I'm not too sure. Uh, the, the Puerto Rican yeah. kid, lefty, he was good, he was strong, young. You know, uh, the only other thing I could say is like, you know, for the young fighters, slow down. You know, that kid was on a big stage, fighting a tough fighter. I know some of you guys come off the Olympic team and think, you know, I want to do this and do that. You lose once, you know, your career is a little different forever. So take your time. Don't be afraid to say no to an opponent. Don't be afraid to say that's a good opponent, but let's get an in-betweener first. You know what I mean? I, I think, you know, because if you lose, well, you get shelved. So just be smart and try to get, you know, try to make your career extend a little bit longer than everybody else, you know? It's so important. I got you. And also, go, uh, going back on to the, the women that fought with Legacy, all of that, it's also, I mean, I come here, I see the uh, your youth program. There's quite a bit of uh, women, uh, girls here, you know, that look up to Jessica and all the girls on TV. Yeah, definitely. You know, I think 
you know, once you, I mean, obviously Jessica's a world champion, and you know, once you get a female world champion, I think a lot of the other females kind of want to like go the same path and the same route. So, um, yeah, it's good to see. It's good to see more women in the gym than normal. But um, as long as uh, I treat everyone the same, guy or girl, so. You know, uh, as long as they're tough enough to hang in here and, and to compete and to spar and to do the workouts, and anyone's welcome, you know, so it's good. All right, sounds good, Rick. Uh, thanks for your time, man. No problem. See you guys.